Your jump is coming. Hello guys and welcome to a new video. I know it's late but for the first time ever I'll be reviewing one of the best lucky draws in the game. Activision made huge efforts into building and designing this skin and it cannot go unnoticed. So first of all I'll make a full review on it and give it a final rating based on 4 aspects. After that we'll compare it to the current metagun the AK-117. And finally I'll show you an intense solo vs squad gameplay using this gun. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Let's start with the design of the gun and let me just start by saying it's mind blowing. So they went for a battleground theme design as we have two sides fighting. The side on the right is the attacking side while the one on the left is trying to defend. But the amount of details they put is just unbelievable. From the volcano to the aircraft to the tank, the turrets and the soldiers in action. I mean you're fighting enemies in game while there's another tiny fight going on on your own gun. That's just crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the design a 9 out of 10. I know it's based on a battleground but I think they could have made the design look a little bit better. That's why I took one point. Wait. We stand together. Next, we have a very important aspect to rate, which is the iron sights. So this skin has three different iron sights. The default one, and another one at level 3, and a third one at level 5. Honestly, all of them are efficient, but obviously the third one at level 5 is the best. It's so clean and good looking. But I tried both of them, the default one and the level 5 iron sights, and I didn't feel any difference in efficiency. As for the rating, I'd go for an 8 out of 10. Even though the default sight is efficient, it doesn't look as good as the max iron sight. So minus points for greediness. The fact that you need to max the gun to get the best iron sights is a bit greedy. Next, we have the visual and sound effects. Many players don't really care about this, but for me it's a big deal. Starting with the shooting sound itself. I'm in love with it. It sounds like you're shooting tiny needles out of your gun. And it's so satisfying and syncs perfectly with the fast fire rate. And I know this might sound weird, but the shooting sound somehow affects my aim. And having such clean shooting sounds makes my aim better. I know some of you guys can relate to this. After that, we have the kill effect. And again, I love it. It's a helmet on top of a sword. And the reason why I love it, first of all, it's simple and doesn't cover up your screen. As well as the effect sound. It's very quiet, unlike many other skins like the MX-9 Heartless, for example. The kill effect looks nice, but it's just too much and too loud. It can actually put you in a disadvantage. Other than being simple, I like the meaning behind it, which I believe simplifies a fallen soldier. However, I have to lower the rating because of the reload sound. It sounds like missiles and explosions going off as you reload, which is creative. I'll give them that. But there are many sounds and they're too loud. I feel like it's gonna shred my eardrums. It actually puts you in a huge disadvantage as it becomes extremely hard to hear footsteps around you as you reload. Like imagine being stuck around a full squad and you start reloading. You better start praying for the reload to end as well because you won't hear them coming. So because of that, I'm gonna have to give it a 7 out of 10. And finally, the efficiency of the gun itself. I think this one is a no-brainer. Whether you're an MP or a BR player, this gun is a beast. It's an LMG, an assault rifle, and an SMG at the same time. A very fast fire rate with good damage, a large mag size, and a very high aim assist. The only small issue I have is the high sprint to fire delay and the slow ADS speed, which sometimes causes the gun not to fire, forcing me to press the shooting button multiple times. But overall, it's one of the best guns in this season. I'm already smelling a nerf coming soon, and I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 in efficiency. So for the final rating, the MG42 campaign gets an average rating of 8.25 out of 10. I'm not sure about the future of this gun and how badly it is gonna be nerfed, but right now I highly recommend going for it if you can afford it. Moving on to the comparison against the AK-117. I'll focus on the most important thing, which is the killing time. Just to make this quick. But here's the thing. It's really hard to have an accurate comparison because the MG-42 has so many attachments that allows you to go for different builds. But what I'm gonna do is I'll go for the fastest fire rate build and we'll compare it to my favorite AK-117 build shown right here. I do not recommend this MG40 build at all, it's just for the comparison. I'll show you the build that I used later on in this gameplay. So the MG42 has a fire rate of 1224 rounds per minute, while the AK117 fires 769 rounds per minute. That allows the MG42 to completely dominate the AK117. As you can see here at close range of 10 meters, it beats it in every single part of the body. 
Even at mid-range of 40 meters, the MG42 again dominates the AK-117. However, as I always say, killing time isn't everything. There are many other things to consider when choosing the best gun, and it's up to the player to choose. Not to mention that I went for a faster fire rate attachment, which means I sacrificed other things, like the recoil and accuracy. So now I'll show you the gameplay. It was a busy game with a very high damage. And after the game, I'll answer the main question of the video. Which gun is better? The AK-117 or the MG-42? So I'm landing at New Vision City. All of my friends that I play with hate this place. They say it's too dark and they can't see anything. But it's my favorite place to land. And usually it's filled with squads. But this time, not a single player landed here. So I got all the loot that I needed and I headed towards farm right away.
flight will arrive in one minute. Finally, I was done with cleaning farm and God blessed me with a loadout airdrop that's right next to me. So I went for it and this is the build that I used in this game. Again, I do not recommend this build, I'm still testing different ones. But so far, this one is my favorite. I got a little bit cocky there. I knew I had 20 bullets in the mag and I thought it would be enough to kill him. And that almost got me killed. But honestly, the reload time is too long. It makes me impatient sometimes. I was gonna engage with this squad right here, but I played it safe and smart, especially with snipers camping around me. So instead, I took the hill inside the zone, putting them in a double disadvantage. A disadvantage from being outside the zone, and another one from being on the low ground. Right here I opened my mic and I was trying to team up with this guy. But bro woke up today and he just chose violence.
I had some good fights, but overall it wasn't the hardest game. And that's because I'm still at master rank on this account. But overall it was a nice game and I think it served the main purpose of this video, which is showcasing the new mythic MG42 skin. And before I end the video, I'll answer the main question. Which gun is better, the MG42 or the AK117? This is just my opinion, don't take it for granted. Both guns are insane, but if I had to choose between them, then I'll go for the AK117. Even though the MG42 kills faster, I find it a lot easier to kill enemies and wipe squads with the AK117. It has better aim assist, especially at longer ranges, it's easier to hit moving targets and switch between them, and I know the MG42 has a bigger mag size, but I prefer the AK117 with less mag size and faster reload. And don't forget that the MG42 has both higher sprint to fire delay and slower ADS time than the AK117, which technically affects the killing time. So yes, I'd always go for the AK117. That gun is more broken than my heart when my girlfriend left me. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Reloading, cover me. Enemy, enemy.